Hey guys, um, it's Lita with another tutorial on how to do skin. My last couple tutorials I was not very, very pleased with. Um, and so I decided, you know, to show you guys how I actually do my skin. I found a couple, you know, new techniques that I thought I'd share with you guys. Um, so let's get started and quit this jibber jabber. Um, open up your image, uh, create a new layer, grab your paint bucket tool, and just slap on a dark color such as black or gray. Um, select the mode of that layer to color, and then just flatten your image. And now make a new layer. Now we're going to outline the skin like we did before. So grab your polygonal tool, polygonal lasso tool, which should be right here. Make sure the first box is checked, because if you do any more, then you're just going to mess it all up. You're going to have to redo it over and over and over. We don't want that. So just make sure the first box is checked, and then zoom in a good bit. And now just start outlining the skin. Alright, now when you want to select into multiple um, areas of your skin, like once you got this one done and you can't go down here without deselecting that one, um, go up to your polygonal tool again and select the second box. This box allows you to select multiple, you know, areas at a time without you having to redo everything. So go ahead and do that. Alright, now that you got it selected, um, go ahead and make sure you have that new layer. Grab your paint bucket tool, and I'm doing the skin color of um, E3CCB4, which I think is a pretty dark, nice color. Um, go ahead and paint that over the skin with your paint bucket tool. Change the mode to screen, and lower the screen to about a 56 or 59. Once you got that done, create a new layer and paint that on there as well. Change the mode of that layer to lin linear burn or linear burn. I think it's linear burn. I'm not sure. Um, once you got that done, make a new layer <laughs> and change the mode of that to multiply. Now go all the way over here to your brush tool. Select a brush, a fuzzy brush, that's about a 78. I'll zoom in a little bit. Now change it to about a 45. That's good. Zoom in and start going on the outside of your image with the tool to make some shadow. Don't overdo this because you will look crazy. <laughs> so go around the edges like this especially on the inners, you want to create like a light source to like where the light's hitting the character so don't put shadow where they're supposed to be light. It takes a little bit to um, like a little while to get used to that but you'll get it. Now if it's a um, anime photo you can choose that you can see shadows already so go just go ahead and go in the shadow area. For smaller areas, go ahead and make the brush a little bit smaller. Now, if you have areas that you've messed up on, just go ahead and grab your own polygonal tool and just go in and delete them. It's easy. And yeah. <laughs> just go ahead through every layer of the skin that you made and just delete it, and that area's gone. Or if you <laughs> mess up like I just did, just grab your brush again. 
just fill in that area with the color. Like that. Okay. Now that you got the shadows done, that looks pretty good. Um, grab another, or make a new layer, <laughs> and set your brush to about 43 or so. Keep the same color. Now make the mode of that layer to uh, soft light. And just make some shine. Don't make a lot. Just make, you know, a doable amount. Especially on the legs. You want them to have that nice flowy shine look. And the arms. The arms too. Like that. And that's about it. I hope this helped you guys. Um, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and contact me on Formspring or um, Facebook. Um, you could also talk to me on Zat, depending on if I have you as a friend, or you can just contact me. Um, other information will be provided below. And yeah, <laughs> thanks for watching. Bye.